Hampshire's last pair of Chris Wood and David Balcom both hit the best scores of their careers as they added an incredible 168 for the 10th wicket, but Leicestershire still won the LV County Championship match at Grace Road by 126 runs. Set an improbable 441 to win, Hampshire started the last day in trouble on 77 for four, still 364 runs shy of their target, but with Liam Dawson still at the crease, there was just the slimmest of hopes for the visiting team, who began this match in the top two in the second division. The writing, though, was seemingly on the wall for them when they lost their night watchman James Tomlinson in the morning's 10th over, as he was taken at short leg off the bowling of Will Jones. Jones was soon becoming an unlikely hero with the ball, as next delivery, he bowled Sean Irvine for a golden duck. Hampshire had all but lost this game as they then lost a third wicket in the space of just four balls when Michael Bates was also out for a golden duck as he played on to Wayne White. Enter Wood with the total on 110 for seven. He took on Jones and drove him over his head for a six. Dawson, meanwhile, had survived the first hour of the day but had finished prior to lunch looked on when he advanced down the pitch to Jones and was stumped one short of his 50. Then, Kabir Ali was sent back by Wood and run out by a delighted Matthew Hoggard, a man who has had a terrific game. At 146 for nine, everyone was now ready for the last rites, but Wood decided to have a go. There was, of course, nothing to lose, so he could play with freedom. But boy, he played some scintillating shots as he approached only the third 50 of his career. And he got there in a flash, smashing four fours in five balls off Jones, to get to a half century of just 37 deliveries. That had included eight fours and a six. Hampshire now head to Cardiff for T20 finals day and this was now looking like a T20 game with Balcom joining in the fun by taking on Alex Wyatt who went the distance. This single brought up the rare feat of a three figure last wicket partnership and it had occupied only 13 overs. Lunch was postponed, but still Leicestershire, who hadn't won a championship game since the first week of the season, couldn't get their last man. Balcom now completed the second 50 of his career off his 47th ball, that being his seventh four to go with that earlier maximum. Wood then launched into Wyatt. Rarely was an over passing by, which didn't go for a double figure score. A fantastic strike now took Wood into the uncharted territory of the 90s. So Balcom calmed down at the other end while Wood kept his cool. On 98, he turned Jones to fine leg for the two he needed. In total, he'd faced just 80 deliveries in which he'd smacked 15 fours and two sixes. It was a wonderful moment for him and he probably now thought that his side could win it from here. The best ever 10th wicket stand for Hampshire goes back to 1921 where Messrs Bowell and Livesey put on 192. As Balcom hit this four of Hoggard, this partnership now moved into the 150s and it had come in fewer than 20 overs. Balcom celebrated that by swinging the next ball over deep backward square leg for another six. The umpires then took a delayed lunch much to the relief of the home side. Yet on the restart, the mayhem continued with Balcom now playing shots like an opening bat, not a number 11. Their partnership had moved on to 168 in 22 and a half overs together when at long last, Balcom was bowled off his pads by Nathan Buck. Hampshire were all out for 314 to lose by 126 runs. Both batsmen's efforts were their best. Wood's exceptional 105 had come off just 88 balls, while Balcom had needed only 70 for his 73. Leicestershire took 23 points to take them above both Glamorgan and Gloucestershire, while Hampshire had to settle for only three, which puts them 13 points clear of third place, but having played a game more.